Welcome to a webinar covering the Fabric Builder World Markets Report published by the McIlvain Company. And the first thing we're going to do is to go to the McIlvain Company website, www.mcilvaincompany.com. And we just hit the wrong button there, so we go back uh, here, uh, favorites, and hit the McIlvain Company. And at this point in time, we're going to take a look at the news release on the Fabric Folder World Markets, uh, and you can see it's an $11.5 billion market. And this is the news release that we just published here uh, a couple days ago. And we are predicting a, a market uh, that will be $11.5 billion in 2011, and the large part of it will be the cement, stone, sand, gravel, etc., where many fabric filters are used. Uh, the steel market is a big market. The power market uh, is potentially a very huge market, probably bigger than all of them, but presently 90% of the plants use electrostatic precipitators. So if you multiplied uh, that 486 million by 10, uh, you'd see the potential uh, in the industry. So that's the split of the market this year. It is dominated by Asia with six billion out of the uh, 11 billion total coming from Asia this year. So that gives you kind of a, an overview of the market and let's actually go looking at some of the specifics in the report. Uh, let's go down to the world fabric filter market, fabric filter world markets. And we can look at it a number of different ways. Obviously the forecasts are one of the most important par portions of it. And you can select an individual industry, such as the asphalt industry. You can figure, you figure look, just looking at bags as opposed to equipment. And you can look at a particular country, or you can look at all countries, let's say a particular uh, country, and we'll figure China, uh, certainly a very big market uh, for everything that they're doing. Uh, so that's a $37 million market uh, uh, in, in, uh, in China. So for just for the bags, not for the equipment, which would be considerably larger. So that's one way to look at the data. Uh, you can also go more globally on everything. Um, and let's just look at all uh, equipment and systems. And let's look at uh, the world rather than uh, we'll go to select all here and hit select all again. And then we can look at the at the uh, at the world market uh, for systems is uh, about uh, six point uh, billion dollars. So that is one uh, way to look at it. So there's uh, fifty thousand combinations you can uh, view that way. But you you have a number of other things too. You can look at uh, in incremental growth percentages just of GDP as shown uh, here. And we're tracking GDP on a monthly basis. You can get some actual uh, numbers if you want to see how many coal-fired megawatts there are going to be. That link just didn't work there, but uh, I'm sure it'll be up and running uh, soon. And the um, incinerators, GDP, food, chemical stone, and so forth. You can look at the uh, percentages, and these are based on the amount of uh, waste and tons per day that's being uh, incinerated. And so you can calculate for any country in the world, for instance, the United States here, we're looking at 8% of the 2010, 100% number of, of in terms of tons per day being incinerated. So in 2010, which is the 100% number down at the bottom here, you uh, you have a, the, that's the world number that all these numbers are based on. So in 2010, the United States processed through waste energy plants 7.6% of the of the waste that was processed through waste energy plants around the world. And in 2015, that's only going to grow to 8.6%. So the uh, the United States is not a big player in the waste energy as compared to some of the other countries, nor is it growing rapidly as the way China and some of the others are. There's a, a, a tremendous amount of valuable information that you get on a uh, 
a monthly basis too. So you can go into a particular uh, industry like the chemical industry or the pharmaceutical industry, and you can hit the industry analysis section, which not only gives you plant databases and links to some of the plants, but uh, it also gives you uh, updates. And so you can get the January 2011 updates for the pharmaceutical industry and uh, look for information about projects or uh, company activities that would affect uh, your marketplace. So uh, these are UCB plans, plant expansion, and so forth. So this is the kind of information that is out there monthly. Uh, there's some very good specific information on, on companies there. And just to show you how granular that we can get, let's just take uh, one of these samples and we'll We'll go to the uh, cement gravel uh, stone and we'll look at the project tracking system. And you can pick up plants in um, in the uh, in Europe or in the United States. Let's just go open this up and look for plants uh, domestic. Let's look at the U.S. for instance and view facilities alphabetically. Let's maybe go to the Western Division of Chanute. Um, and they put in a, a fabric filter, uh, anything that they're going to be doing on NOx or mercury, uh, we would put in. And they probably will be doing something on these in the next, uh, in the coming months or year because that's a, a requirement. But we have a tremendous amount of detailed information on, on this in many plants because we, we are putting in the Title V permits. And when... You, you see uh, what is in some of these permits. I mean, it's got the number of bags. It's got who supplied the uh, collector, what the efficiency is, the fact the material that's in the glass, bags of the fiberglass with PTFE membranes. And uh, there's this kind of information for every fabric filter uh, in that uh, plant. So you can see, uh, obviously, that... Uh, uh, cement plants have lots and lots of uh, different fabric filters with different uh, types of bags and flow rates and so forth there. So that is all included uh, in the fabric filter market report. So let's get out of the cement version of it here. The cement tracking, again, is part of the uh, overall uh, tracking in the, in the market report. Uh, another valuable thing is actually abstracts and uh, newsletter. So you can click for the monthly newsletter, and you can see the February 2011 fabric folder newsletter, and it uh, you know has the latest on uh, regulations and rulings here. It's got uh, information on the uh, activities of a number of the companies here. Uh, Torrent expands a pleated bag uh, builder line offering. Seco announces new orders and so forth. And then uh, uh, that is in addition to abstracts, and we actually get uh, you know monthly abstracts of the articles that are relevant to uh, fabric filters on uh, electric arc furnaces, uh, HEPA filters, and so forth. So that's uh, another aspect of it. Still further, we have information actually on all the companies. So if you want to uh, um, get some information on Alstom, uh, for instance, or on one of the or AAF uh, and uh, International in Kentucky, you know, we would have that kind of uh, information with with uh, contacts and uh, uh, their email addresses, their phone numbers, and the, the types of uh, uh, titles of the people as well. And this is something that we're updating all the time. Uh, we're also doing uh, hot topic discussions and recordings, and those are available too. And so you can uh, learn about the Utility MACT, uh, which is going to be very important to fabric filters. There's going to be a lot of fabric filters capturing mercury. And in this particular one, you can hear some of the major uh, Black and & Veatch and ACOM, uh, who are major consultants are analyzing this, or you can go right to uh, John uh, Darrow and listen to, uh, they have a revolutionary new uh, a product for mercury removal, uh, and so 
you can actually then click on his uh, um, uh, presentation or view the entire um, webinar, uh, both the, the visual and the audio aspect of it. So these uh, are many of the things that are in this 5,000-page uh, report, which, uh, as you know, we've been publishing this report since uh, the early 19. 70s, and uh, we've had a lot of loyal subscribers, probably dating back, uh, you know, all that uh, time. And we, you, you, you do get abs ac access to all the back issues of the newsletter and abstract, so you can really go in and find uh, um, any kind of a uh, you know, search newsletters and abstracts for any kind of a of a thing. So if you go in, for instance, under membrane or cement or under a company. You know, you're going to get 250 uh, hits, for instance, just on uh, membranes. And so here's Gore introducing a high durability membrane and GE's uh, media extends a bag to life from one to five years and so forth. So uh, it's only all these are available at a click. And then also uh, you can search, uh, you know, abstracts and things too and uh, find out that this is a paper that was presented few years ago in uh, AWMA. So thank you for spending some time uh, viewing the information and listening to the information that is available in the world fabric uh, filter and elements uh, market, and we would welcome any questions that you may have. So thank you for listening.